Hi friends, Mindy here. I have a little plan with me to share with you. This is for March. Um, I'm gonna do a real quick flip of February. Just um, for those of you who saw last month, uh, because this is just how this works sometimes. So um, I mentioned before, you know, we were out of town for 10 days. And then when I got back, I was sick. And so a lot of February just did not get filled out. And it just happens that way sometimes. So I have some notes for my YouTube. Like none of these trackers got even filled out for the month. Um, and then I had some messages about the fact that I had skipped a week in here. Um, and that was the, because that was the week that we were out of town. And so since we were gone for the full week, I didn't see a point in, you know, sketching out a full page just to leave it blank. Then I came home and I was sick. And so, uh, just not a lot got done there. Um, so it's just kind of bare bones for last month. And that's just how it is sometimes. And that's totally fine. So I'm working into March now. And I know that we're already a little bit into March, but this is just kind of my process by the time I'm actually getting all of this um, put up. But I, um, because my last weekly actually went into, you know, the third of March, I didn't really have to worry about getting, making sure I had it set up ahead of time. I normally like to, but I'm just a little couple days behind. But anyway, so this is going to be my cover, um, for March. And I have in the back, this is, I kind of always do this where I start kind of getting an idea for the pens and inks and different things that I want to use. So I have a very specific theme in mind for the month of March, which is like, um, kind of rainy rain clouds and, um, just a real sketchy kind of look. And so I just went through and tried a bunch of different pens and picked out which things I would wanted to use. I have my little jar of them sitting here next to me to work on. And then I went ahead and did all of the inking already of the pages for the month of March. So I have my calendar page here. I have my um, YouTube ideas here. I have some trackers and my project bingo. I just like to do that every month. I'm adding a couple of different pages this month. This is going to be like a line of a day page. This is going to be some um, kind of a brain dump space preparation. I'm going on a retreat um, this month. And so I like to have a place to kind of put some notes and then I have changed up my weeklies. So, um, we'll get into all that. I'm going to go ahead and put you on fast forward, but I, I always personally, the way that I just do this is I always do the structure, the bones of all of my pages first, and then I add the decorations later. I just, that works for me because this is a functional planner for me. I want to make sure that I have the space to record and do the things that I want to do for each day or for each tracker or for each whatever. And so um, I always start with the bones and structure of it first, and then I will go back in and add all of the fun things. So I will say I do, I'm planning to do some stamping this time. I have some distress oxide inks in a few different colors. I have Lost Shadow, Tumble Glass, and Stormy Sky, along with Scattered Straw and Fossilized Amber. And then I have some stamps that I'm going to be using. So these are just a variety, a smattering of different kinds of planner stamps that I have. Uh, this one is Felicity Jane. This one is Felicity Jane. It's really hard to tell because I've used these stamps so much, but um, they're little like blacked out circles and the numbers themselves are like the negative space. Um, and so I tend to use those a lot. Um, these are Everyday Explorer. These are Everyday Explorer. And then I have just some really, really old stamp sets um, that kind of have some stamps that have the same kind of theme. These are actually some Illustrated Faith ones. I pulled these for the little clouds that are in there. This is an old By the Well for God stamp for the clouds. And then I also pulled out this old stencil from By the Well um, that has the kind of cloud shapes on it because I'm going to be using this to sort of stencil some things. So, and then it's got the little raindrops in the middle, which I, don't, I hadn't thought about doing raindrops, but I might. We'll see. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to now speed this up and just kind of work through these pages and adding the decorations to the structure of my pages. Okay, so I know in that last segment I said I was going to put you on fast forward and do the kind of art part of my bullet journal and as you can see the art part is finished and I have no footage. I somehow uh, I thought I was recording and I wasn't and I went through and I filled out my whole month of March before I realized it. So 
I thought I would just go ahead. I actually thought about just not even posting this at all, but I just want this kind of for my own documentation as well. But also I really love how this month turned out. And so I think I'm just going to walk you through it and kind of talk about what I did and the products that I used. I had some comments before about really showing like the actual pens and stuff that I used. Um, so I'm just going to go through and kind of go page by page and show you what I did and how I intend on using that particular setup. Cause I did add a few different, um, pages this month that I haven't used in the past, um, in a while, or, you know, haven't shown up in my videos in the last couple months. So, um, I'm just going to start. So I used on this cover page, I used a Posca paint pen. I used the bullet tip one, um, and I did the hand lettering for March. And then I used that by the wall for God stencil and the Distress Oxide Inks in Tumbled Glass and um, oh, Stormy Sky. And I just kind of, you know, moved the stencil around and added some ink up here and kind of in the corner and then down here. And then I added some like stylized raindrops with just a ruler and a gray pen. And that is pretty much it for this for this day, which is kind of my intro page. And then for the calendar, I, I hand lettered March over here with, um, I actually use this Ritek um, sign brush pen. And I, I kind of wasn't thinking that this was a water-based pen. And then I went back over some of the areas with the Tombow. And so it picked up some of that color. I was trying to create a drop shadow. Um, so I did get a little bit of a blur there, but that's fine as well. But uh, the sign brush pens from Ritek are pretty good too. And then up here along the top, this is stamped in um, the Distress Oxide ink in... Um, stormy sky and then I use the everyday explorers set that I showed at the beginning with um, the days of the week the full day wouldn't fit so I just used the abbreviation and then I actually took this little Tim Holtz the little tiny blending tool and I just used some ink and created the little round spots here and then I just hand wrote all of the days of the week and then of course this day had you know the split for the 31st and then I added a drop shadow with a Tombow in N95. This is a really great marker. I use this a lot for shadowing um, for letters because it's just a really, really light gray and it works for those kinds of things. I don't always add drop shadows when I'm doing things, but um, it's, it's a nice way to add color really quickly. So for this page, this is kind of my YouTube ideas and schedule uh, for things that I need to do ahead of time. Um, and so I added just a little bit of clouds here because I can write over this if I need to. And then um, I just hand wrote those and then I have those illustrated faith stamps that I showed that have like the inside and the outside and I just did them you know offset on purpose um just to create a little bit of interest up there at the top my habit tracker for this month I um I'm just kind of give you an idea so basically what I did is I wrote out the calendar the way that it would you know appear and then um so I know kind of what day of the week it is that just is more helpful to my own brain. Um, but instead of having to write Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, I can just do that. And then I just created little clouds around the outside and went around the outside of that with some blue. And then I like, for instance, this is um, one I already did. This was for my Bible reading. And so then I'm just gonna highlight through the days as I work through them. And then I'll do that for the other habits that I want to keep track of, drinking water and that kind of stuff. Um, my project bingo this again this one this hasn't changed because i really like this particular setup so i will just kind of brainstorm a bunch of different things that i want to do for the month some of those are going to be um like i if i want to i need really need to work on decluttering um, and reorganizing my pantry so that'll go in there and some other craft things that I need to do in my craft space and you know whatever it doesn't matter some of it's crafty some of it's just stuff I want to do around the house um, that kind of thing and all of that will go in here and get marked off as I work through them and then again I did add the little drop shadow here with uh, it was actually one of the brush pens that I used and then I am like uh, going on a retreat. I think I mentioned that. And so I have kind of a page here where I can write down some information and kind of just do some brainstorming for things that I want to take with me or projects that I want to take, whatever. So again, I just use that same stencil, those same colors. And then I just drew a little cloud up here and wrote retreat in there. And then for the line of day, I just have these boxes already 
um, from when I just did the structure. And then I had this little empty area, so I added some of the little clouds down here. And then I just added a drop shadow again for these little boxes because there's so much going on. And then especially once these boxes get filled in, um, it will just be, you know, very busy. And so just having a little bit of color helps that, but without having to add, you know, a whole lot of artwork. And sometimes I use these where I write like something memorable that happened that day. Sometimes I'll write a word. Sometimes I'll write a scripture verse. Sometimes it just kind of depends on really what I want to write for that day, but it's just something um, for each day. I'll have to go back and fill in the first couple days of March, which is fine. And then we're getting into my weeklies and I did change up some of the structure. So this is the typical way um, that I would use a weekly. It's my most common one for this size journal. Um, I don't think I mentioned this, but I'm using the eight by eight square Archer and Olive journal for my bullet journal. And I like it because of the bright white pages, they're heavyweight paper. I'm using distress oxide inks and you can tell there's no bleeding or anything. I'm using all kinds of markers, no bleeding, no shadowing, don't have to worry about it. Um, and so I just really like that. So I did the hand lettering here. I added a little bit of distress ink and then again, those stylized kind of rain drops here. And then I used those same um, Everyday Explorer stamps. I love these stamps, the, per the days of the week. Um, and then my Saturday and Sunday share a box here. So then I just went through and numbered. So some of this, uh, I have a flare pen. I actually have a couple of those that I use this month in a navy and that kind of mustard color. And then I also use the Faber-Castell brush markers. I have these in a couple, in several colors, but I pulled these. Uh, this was cobalt turquoise and green gold. Those were the two colors that I used. And then I also used microns both in black and in gray. Um, I don't, you can get them in a set of gray that has like cool grays and warm grays. And I love these. And then they have different nibs as well. Um, I love micron pens. They're one of my favorite pens. So um, I have them in different nibs and everything. So I used some gray and some black for those. Um, and then I also used an Archer and Olive gel pen, which I really like the, the color of this particular gray as well. And then I have these Prismacolor um, brush markers. I was just trying these, so I only have a couple of colors. It just happened that I have some blues of these. Um, so I was trying. The, the nibs on these are just not as wide as some of their brush tips, and so... Um, you know, that's all kind of personal preference for your brush tip pens, but um, I do, I did use those. And then I also used the Pentel sign, um, which I really like the, um, the brush tip on this one. So those are kind of the main pens that I used throughout. Like I said, I had some people ask about that last time. So, um, and then on this day, I tried a to totally different layout for me. We'll see how it is, but I just did like long, narrow, um, sections for each of the day. I still kept Saturday and Sunday together. And then I moved some of the things that I usually keep over here in this kind of open area, which are like my top three and a meal plan. And usually I do over when, here because I have the space, I'll do like a little brain dump thing where if I don't, um, I'll put, you know, just things that I need to get done this week, but not necessarily, um, I haven't assigned them to a day. And then as, I, as my week progresses, I'll kind of pull things and put them in the day that I need, you know, to do them. Um, but I just really like how this page turned out with the little clouds and the days of the week in there. Uh, so we'll see. I don't know. It's not very wide, the space. And I've mentioned this before. I write really big. So um, I'm hoping that that's going to be enough space. I think it should be fine. But this was a fun layout to do as well. And then this for this week, I kind of created a more of a dashboard um look, this is the week that I'll be gone part of the week for, um, retreat. So I'm actually going to be gone for a few of these days. So I felt like this would be a good way, um, to kind of still have some planning. And then I have a good open space here that I can keep track of, you know, some other things that I need to get done for the week or, um, you know, packing lists and especially for like craft projects and that kind of stuff. So, um, and then I won't, you know, we'll see. I don't, I don't know that this would work for me on a, in a regular week just because the boxes aren't going to give that much space. But for this particular week, I think this one will be fine. And then back to March, this last week, I went back to kind of my old faithful. I did use the Illustrated Faith stamp here. Um, this is a really, really, really old stamp set. So um, 
<laughs> from back when, you know, back in the day, but um, I just happened to have it and I like the little cloud shape. I did add some color here with some drop shadows and then I just wrote the date and everything in there in, that was actually this pen here, the Pentel sign. And then, um, and that's it. And I, I love this month because it ends on a Sunday. So my next weekly will actually start on a Monday and I always really love when that happens. I don't, let me know in the comments if that's something that just makes you excited too. <laughs> um, I think I've mentioned that before. I always do my monthly, my month out of you calendar. Um, I always do like a traditional calendar that starts on Sunday, ends on Saturday, but for my weekly, I like to start Monday. That way I can keep the weekend together. So that's just personal preference. I know everybody, but that's the beauty of kind of bullet journaling is that you can kind of do it however you want to. So I apologize that there's no actual process video of me, um, doing these pages, which was like kind of the whole point. Um, but I did have this that I wanted to share and um, keep kind of documenting my um, plan with me's for this year as I go through. And um, hopefully this is, is helpful to you if you're considering bullet journaling or um, you've never tried it before. It's a really good way of planning if you need kind of something that you can tailor to your, you know, your own life and your situations and, and things like that. So um, let me know if you have any comments down below. I will put my Archer and Olive affiliate down in the description as well if you're interested in that. And um, if you liked this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.